Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. So today we are out here down by the little vineyard here, guys. And of course, I promise you all that we will come back on in with a part two, uh, finishing up the construction of our vineyard. OK, so now what we are here to do today is to get started with running our wire so that way uh, that wire can support the vines of the muscadine. But before we do so, guys, there are a few things that you will need if you are going to be in the process of constructing a vineyard, guys. All right, so right here, what we have, we have a drill and we also have a drill bit. And I'm just naming the things that you will need. And as we get ready to start construction, you will see what these tools will do um, as time goes on, okay? And so right here, what we also have is a wire strainer. Like I said, stay tuned. We will show you what we will do with that. And this right here is a eye bolt with a nut, guys, and you will need that right here as well. And right here is some nine gauge wire. Um, stay tuned for that as well. I will explain what the wire is for. And so far, um, we also have generator out here as well, because yes, we don't have any power out here just as yet guys. Okay. So, um, and yes, you will need a tape measurement. Um, as a matter of fact, come on along. We're going to put it to use right now. And so here we are. Of course, you all did came along with us when we did place these posts in the hole guys now i did explain what these poles is going to be for it's pretty much support for those vines as they start running now one of the thing is um you want to make sure that your muscadine uh vine is right at a perfect level to where that whenever you come on out and you start harvesting muscadine, one of the things that you don't want to do, you don't want to be reaching up too high to harvest your muscadine. And absolutely, you don't want to be bending down too low to harvest your muscadimes as well. So you want it to be right at a very good level, guys, to where that whenever you come on out to harvest, you can simply pick your muscadine, put them in your little hamper or your little bag or whatever you will be using. So what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm just going to stand right here next to this pole and I want my line to be right at about chest level, okay, to where that I can comfortably pick those muscadines. Now what I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to go ahead and measure now, of course, I'm pretty much <laughs> building this muscadine vine off of my spec. Okay, so we're going to put it right in between a little sweet spot uh, to where that even if my wife come on out here. Of course, we are almost about the same height. I'm a little bit taller than her, but uh, we're going to stand right here and having it right here at about chest. So um, for me, it's right at about uh, 50 three inches, but I'm going to go 52 inches, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a mark right here in the middle of my post with this pencil. Come on in, camera lady. Okay, so we just make a mark right here with our pencil. Now, this is where, and stay tuned, I'm not going to give it away. Now, what I'm going to do and of course, when you make that mark, you want to put your tape measurement all the way down at the base of your pole and come on up. OK, and so that's where I get the 52 inches. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, stay tuned. I'm going to go on down to the rest of these posts and I'm going to mark all of them 52 inches, guys. So stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay guys, and so here we have our drill. Now our drill bit that we will be using is half an inch drill bit. Now what that is for, this is going to be for our eye bolt guys. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and set our drill bit inside of the drill, just like so. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and tighten this drill bit on up. Okay guys, and so here we are with the next step. Now, if you all remember that eye bolt that we have now, with it being half an inch drill bit, and this eye bolt right here is half an inch as well, this bolt should go in pretty easy. Okay, just like that. Now, right here, we also have a washer, guys. Um, this washer is just to give some extra strength behind this uh, bolt right here, okay? So now we're going to just put this on. Now, this bolt don't necessarily have to be too tight. That right there is just right, guys. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to move on down to the next end and move on to the next step. So come on along and let's go. So I know you all may have seen me, been picking this stick up and carrying it around with me. Now this stick is going to be put into play right now. So of course with my 9 gauge wire right here guys, what this stick is going to be used for is to push through this hole right here. Okay? And just like that. And so... So when I get ready to uh, reel the wire off, it can just spin just like that, guys, making things a little bit smooth as I go. All right, so here we go. All right. And remember those holes that were drilled. This wire is going to go right through these holes right here. And if you can look at the spool as I go, guys, we are with this wire right here now at the other end with this eye bolt now this is where it's going to get handy so we're going to simply go ahead and put this wire through that eye okay and what we're going to do now you want to make sure you have enough wire at the end 
um, once you put it through the bolt okay now what we're going to do we're going to simply bend this wire just like that because what we're getting ready to do is to tie this off all right so now that we have it bent we're going to and I want you to come on in close so that way you can kind of get an idea all right so we're going to bring it just like this right here now I'm going to have to hold this bolt because I don't want it to twist so we're going to make a little loop just like that if you can see all right now what I'm going to do I'm going to bend right here at this white at the wire right here and make somewhat kind of of a handle for this wire okay now what I'm going to do and of course my bolt I tell you what let me see if we can tighten this bolt up because I don't want it twisting so that way I can get this put on the right way all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this wire I want it to be real nice and neat guys okay and I'm twisting around remember like I said this is our handle and we are twisting it just like this just like that and you can go around about three times if you go around more time that's okay um, it's not going to hurt hurt it but three times usually will get it real nice and tight so that right there, as y'all can see, I went around about five times, all right? Now let me go ahead and get my, uh, my cutters so I can cut this excess wire on off. I take it the nine gauge wire is very and that right there yes it is pretty tough I am so that right there is it um, let's go ahead and bend this piece on around don't want this to poke anybody Now, what we are going to go ahead and do now is we're going to move on down to the next end and come on and let's go. Yes, we are here at the other end. All right. And so here I have another eye bolt and also another washer and a bolt right here, guys. All right. So we're going to cut this wire right here. Now, one of the thing is you want to make sure when you cut it, you leave at least about a foot of wire um, at, on the back side, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut. Like I said, that right there is right at about a foot. Cut it just like that. our eye bolt on just like that right there now here we go and like I said this right here is wire strainer guys right so yes we will need this piece right here now this is where it's going to come in a little bit more handy and so for our wire strainer what I'm going to be doing come on in close camera lady so what I'm going to be doing is I have me another piece of wire right here and I'm going to simply put this piece of wire 
through my uh, eye bolt, okay? And what I'm going to do now is I am going to put this on through this hole here on the wire strainer, okay? Now what I'm going to be doing, I am going to be tying this off, all right? So right here, guys, What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a loop with this wire, okay? Same like I did up there, make a loop, just like now that. Now that I have a loop right here, you may need a vice grip like this here, guys, to give you a little bit of stability. So what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of pressure on here and this little piece, I'm going to twist this on around just like that right there, guys. All right. And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my wire strain on through. And I'm going to come back through right here. Okay. So I'm going to feed it through my little loop right here that I've made okay just like that I'm going to go ahead and make another little loop just like that right there okay now this is where your pliers is going to come back in again Just like that. I'm pretty much what I'm doing here is tying this on off okay all right voila just like that now what we're going to also do, we're going to come back on in and cut all this excess wire on off, guys. Okay? And so that's what you pretty much need. Um, what this is, is pretty much to hold this eye wire right here, just like that. Okay? So that's what you will be looking for, as you all can see right here. All right? So now what I'm going to do that other end of wire that I just cut. We're going to go ahead now. Okay. So right here on your eye wire, there is a hole right here on the inside. So what you're going to do now is you're pretty much going to feed this wire through that hole right there, guys. Okay, just like that. Now what this is going to do, it's going to help to put tension on this wire right here. Okay, so. Now this is the wire that you fed all the way through all the, the way trellis. Through. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to bend it just like this right here. Okay, now I'm going to go get my wire cutter to come and cut this excess off okay so I'm going to go ahead now and cut this excess wire right here just like that so what I'm going to do now because remember this right here is to put 
tension on the wire. So what I want to go ahead and also do is to give a quick example. If you notice right now, if you look all the way on up that way, you can see that the wire is very loose. Mm -hmm. It is very soggy, okay? So what I'm going to do now with the eye wire, I am going to go ahead and twist it. Now there is a tool guys that you're supposed to have to help you to crank this thing up. But with these farm hands that been out here <laughs> on this <laughs> for a while, we're going to go ahead. I may have to get a piece of metal or something to help to twist it. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and twist it just like that. And every time you hear a click, um, you can release it. And what will happen, this right here, catch. So you could come on in, I'll show you what's actually going on here, okay? So this right here is a little lever in the back. And every time I do like that, you hear that click, I let it go and it will catch guys, okay? So pay attention to that right there. You see that? And from what I am actually seeing right now, guys, <laughs> look at that. I didn't even really need, I didn't really even need a whole bunch of clicks, guys, because look at this wire. It has already got very good tension on it already. Mm. Okay? And... If you all remember in the previous video, guys, I did said that I was going to put me a brace on these right here to help with support. But I don't have to put that uh, brace for support because the reason for that is because I have 80 pounds of silk that have been up inside of these pumps. So therefore, these posts, they are pretty sturdy and they should be pretty good to go. Now, one of the thing also, guys, you want to make sure that if you're going to be making a vineyard or even, hey, uh, you know, a trellis or whatever it is you're going to be making to, to hold your grapes or whatever, just make sure that you go ahead and do it right the first time because this right here may be out here for uh, 20 years or 30, who knows? It'd be out here for a long time. So you wanna make sure that whenever you go ahead and construct it, you do it to the best of your ability. Now these right here is some recycled pressure treated wood. Um, uh, that should last for a quite a while, okay? Now, right here inside of the middle where you see i have all these braces i could have went ahead and used some t-posts but over a period of time they'll get start sagging or they'll start loosening up they're easy to be bent so that is why i use the six by six treated posts all the way throughout this uh vineyard right here guys okay so pretty much you can um we're going to walk on down so you can see what it's looking like. Now you may see a little bit of waving inside of this wire as you go on up. The reason for that is because our terrain here is not level. So therefore, as you get the drops and the dippets in the land, you will get that little wave as you go along. But you could come on and take a quick little look so you can see what it's looking like. Like I said, good tension. And so guys, that right there is pretty much it. I pray that this video was helpful to you guys. Um, you know, one of the thing is I was reading through a comment the other day and someone said, hey, you know what? You're doing too much talking in the videos. Um, I know for me personally, I am a 
hands-on person whenever I'm learning and I like to get the explanation as I'm being learned something new okay now for some of you all out there it may be the same for some of you okay one of the thing is here on the homestead guys I am simply here just to show and to teach and to help you guys so that way you can do the same on your homestead now if all the talking that we're doing here on these videos is not for you um, you don't find it pleasing to you for that hey of course I don't have to come on here and apologize but because the goodness that's within me I apologize for all the talking now that is how I teach and that is how some people like it some people may not like it that way hey I don't know what to tell you but um for as long as we will be here on this homestead and we will be doing videos and we will be doing teaching we will be talking okay because <laughs> one of the things is i don't i do do a little bit of sign language <laughs> but hey for these videos i will not be out here sign language and all, <laughs> all these videos i am a verbal person mm -hmm. i like to talk i'm pretty sure you talk as well if you're not a dumb and i'm not speaking out on the dumb but you have people out there that actually cannot talk and they can only go by the, the word on the screen if you don't want to hear me talk simply go ahead turn the volume down and just watch what i'm doing okay you could go ahead and do it that way or if you don't like it it is not pleasing to you um i believe they have a little button down there that you can unsubscribe now that is not what we want but if this is not for you you can go ahead and unsubscribe from the channel because remember the reason for me coming out here to do this is that I can teach you guys okay mm -hmm. and so hey I can even learn from you guys now with that feedback hey I don't mind feedbacks like that hey if in the future where that I can do videos with less talking I will consider that but until that time <laughs> come, I will be out here talking, guys. And so I just pray that this video right here was helpful to you guys mm -hmm. and that you all take something away from this video right here. So that way, when you do get your homestead and when you do get your land, you can go ahead and apply these skills. Mm -hmm. Skills that our forefather once had or once have and the generation as time goes on will lose those skill guys mm -hmm. and so like i said for the little knowledge that i do know i want to share that with you all so that way you can get on outside not just sitting down and watching me putting videos on youtube but also applying what you're getting from these videos right here mm -hmm. so hey if you all out there are putting up a vineyard and hey it's your first time and you're getting out there and you do it and hey it work out for you go ahead and drop a little link down there in the comment box below and let us know that hey this right here was very helpful I appreciate you I appreciate it that would be good so that way we all can learn guys okay mm -hmm. and also if you see I did something in this video that was not up to par or you think it could have been done different hey I'll take that comment as well but none of the less that is pretty much it um, I do have one more side to finish and mm -hmm. yes I do have to come on in and put one more roll on in and that is going to be it because I think <laughs> three rolls of muscadine and my son say hey dad I want some grapes and so I'm going to go ahead and do that I may put two great plants on in mm -hmm. here for him so that way he can he can come on out and enjoy some some grapes yeah but guess what that last row where his grape is going to go he's going to be digging the holes <laughs> he's going to be putting the work in so that way and he's going to plant his own grapes guys mm -hmm. so um they are starting to wake up so stay tuned for part three as we come on in and get finish with this vineyard right here 
So nonetheless, I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Now remember, you keep a smile on your face, you be happy, you be cheerful, and you be blessed, guys. I will catch you all in the next video. If you like the content that you all are getting here, go ahead, throw that thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and share these videos with friends and families that are out there, guys, that are getting back into the way of life, and that is growing our own food. That's right. Catch you all in the next video. That's right. Have a blessed day.